Hello, in last class we have discussed the design philosophy of ordinary black bolt and we have seen that how to calculate the design shear strength of black bolt, the bearing strength, tensile strength and tensile strength of plate and combination of shear and tension. So, how to calculate the strength due to different uh, force occurring that has been discussed in last class and a small example we have gone through in last class that is how to calculate the design shear strength of a ordinary black bolt. Now, today I will go through two examples uh, of ordinary black bolt this bearing type bolt and we will see how to calculate different type of strength due to shear, due to bearing, due to tension that we will go through this example and we will see uh, another example that uh, means that if a plate is connected with uh, different number of bolts, how to calculate the efficiency of that fluid. That means, the strength of bolt and the strength of the solid plate that that we will try to find out and we will see how, how the efficiency is calculated. And in first example, we will try to see how to calculate the bolt strength or joint strength uh, of lap joint and also bar joint. So, this is what we will cover in today's lecture. So, two example as I told we will be going through uh, one is uh, this example this is design the following joint using ordinary black bolts between two plates of width 200 mm and thickness 10 mm and 18 mm respectively that means, two plates of 10 mm and 18 mm to transmit a factor load of 150 kilo Newton. So, we will uh, design if these are under lap joint means due to lap joint, lap joint means we know that if we have a plate and another plate then uh, this is case A lap joint and then single cover bar joint that means, we will provide a, a uh, plates in same axis and we will provide a cover plate. Of course, this thickness is more one uh, plate thickness is more and the thickness of another one is less. So, there will be a gap right and third this is second case and third case uh, will use double cover bar joint. Double cover bar joint means suppose this is a plate and this is another plate. So, we will provide a cover plate here and we will provide a cover plate here. Of course, we have to fill up this with packing plate right. So, we will see how to calculate. So, first we will come to the first case that is lab joint. So, in this case we can assume that shear plane is uh, including in the uh, threads. So, N n is 1 and N s as 0 and for 16 mm bolt diameter 16 mm bolt diameter the A n b the net shear area of the bolt at thread we can calculate that is 0 0.78 into pi by 4 into d square d square means this is 16. So, this will become 157 millimeter square ok. So, from this we can calculate the design shear strength of the bolt that is V d s b that will be f u b by root 3 gamma n b into n n a n b 
plus n s a s b. I am not writing the reduction factor due to large grip length, due to large joint and due to packing plates. These I am excluding because reduction factor has not been means uh, uh, joint length has not been given, grip length has not been given. So, we do not know whether we have to reduce or not that is why we are omitting these three reduction factor. Now, here again uh, n s will be 0, n s will be 0. So, we can find out the value as f u b value is 400 by root 3 into gamma m b is 1.25 into 1 into 157 plus 0. So, this will get 29 into 10 cube Newton or 29 kilometer. Right. So, number of bolt, number of bolts will be how much? Because 150 kilo Newton was the force. So, if we divide by the bolt strength, number of bolt we can find out as 6. Right. From shear point of view, we can find out that 6 number of bolt is required. Now, if we go for bearing, we can find out V D P B due to bearing, bearing strength if we want to calculate. So, we know that is 2.5 into K B into D into T into F u by gamma m b. Right. Now, we have to find out the uh, value of K b. Now, we can provide the uh, pitch distance and edge distance suitably. The pitch distance we know minimum pitch distance is 2.5 d. So, we can find out it will be 2.5 into 16, it will be around 40 and E is 1.5 into D 0 that is for rolled edge, it is coming around 27 and, and if we consider hand flame cut edge, then that will be 1.7 D 0. This is given in the oral provision that is 30.6 means 31 mm. Right. So, now we can find out the value of K b. As we know K b is the E by 3 d 0 that means 31 by 3 into 18 and P by 3 d d 0 minus 0 0.25 this is another one 400 by 410 and 1 and smaller of this will become 0 0.57, smaller of all this is becoming 0 0.57. So, now we can find out the value of V d p b. So, the V d p b value will become 2.5 into k b value is 0 0.57 and to d into t, t is the thickness of the plate that is 10 mm thickness of the thinner plate we will consider and then f u by gamma m b into 10 to the minus 3 if I do then it will be in kilo Newton. So, this is coming 74.78 kilo Newton that means V d p b the design bearing strength of bolt is coming 74.78 kilo Newton. That means, the bolt value will be minimum of bolt value will be minimum of 2 that is 29 and 74.78 kilo Newton that means 29 kilo Newton minimum of these two. Now, so we require number of bolts actually we require 5 or 6 sorry 6. So, 
we can arrange the bolts in this way in two line we can arrange say if we have the first case the lap joint. So, we can provide a bolt here. So, 6 bolts we can provide in this way and we can provide maybe this we can provide 31 mm, this is coming 138 mm and this is coming 31 mm and this we we can make maybe 50, 50 all are in millimeter because this total is 200 mm width of the plate is 200 mm right and in elevation if we see the bolts are jointed like this So, this is one line, this is another line, this is another line and one plate is of 10 mm thickness, another plate is of 18 mm thickness and direction of force is in this direction, right. So, this is how we can design the bolt connection under lap joint. Now, we will go to second case. Second case is single cover bar joint, single cover bar joint. So, in this case things will be like this, two plates may be another plate is this, two plates are joined with a cover right. So, we have to provide certain bolts here and we have to provide certain bolts here. So, for this case also the design shear strength of bolt V d s b will be 29 kilo newton because this is also in single shear right. Now, we have to calculate the V d p b value. V d p b value here we can calculate as 2.5 into k b will be same if we consider the same pitch and edge distance then the value of k b will be same like earlier. So, k b value will 0.57 into d into t into a few ten to the minus three I am taking and one point two five is the gamma M B value. Now remember this eight mm is the thickness of cover plate and when we are going to design we have to take the thickness of the thinner plate that is why eight mm value has been considered. So, this is coming 59.83 kilo newton and here also uh, the number of bolt required will be will be 150 by 29 because the bolt value will be 29 kilo newton. right bolt value will be 29 kilo newton because smaller of these two. So, we can find out the number of bolt that will be 5.1 that means 6 right. So, this case also arrangement will be same in this case arrangement also will be same or we can change the arrangement like the uh, edge distance and uh, pitch distance we can little change say for example, 
let us consider this means I am drawing the plan of the joint. So, we can make in this way also and then this is 50 mm. Though we have taken 31 mm edge distance, we can increase little more say 35, it will be conservative size. Then we can provide 65, this we can provide 65 and then 35 or we can provide 31 also. right? And if we see from the other side means elevation of the joint, this will be like this. If this is thicker plate and if this is thinner plate, then if we provide a cover plate of this, then joints are made that means, single cover single line bar joint. So, bolt we are providing in single line in each case here uh, plates are connected right. So, this is how we can arrange the bolts in three lines and we can find out the uh, arrangement of the bolts in this way. Now, we will go the third case that is double cover bar joint. So, what will be the different from earlier one that in this case the as double cover bar joint. So, we can assume that it is a uh, actually it is a double shear as double cover bar joint. So, it will be double shear. So, if we assume the threads are in the shear planes then N n we can assume 2 and N s as 0. Therefore, we can find out the value of uh, uh, design strength of bolt in double shear that we can find out as V d s b is equal to f u by f u b by root 3 comma m b into n n into a n b plus 0 because n s is 0 into beta p k g because packaging is required. In case of double cover bar joint as the thickness of the plates two plates are different and we are providing uh, in two sides we are providing uh, cover plates. So, there will be a gap. So, we have to provide the packing packing plate we have to provide and this packing plate uh, will be 18 millimeter minus 10 millimeter that means 8 millimeter which is greater than 6 mm. So, as the packing plate thickness is greater than 6 mm we have to provide the reduction factor for the packing plate. So, beta p k g we have to calculate. Now, the reduction factor due to packing plate we can calculate beta p k g as 1 minus 0 0.0125 T p k g. So, this is 1 minus 0 0.125 into sorry into 8 that means, it is coming 0 0.9. So, design shear strength for this case will be little less than the earlier one that is 400 into 10 to the minus 3 for making it kilo newton into 1.25 into 2 into 1.57 uh, sorry 157 into 0 0.9 this is the beta p k g. So, if we put this value we will find out 
52.21 kilonewton. This is less than 20, uh, 29 into 2 that means 58 kilonewton. If packing plates are not given then the shearing strength of the bolt due to double shear will become 29 into 2 that is 58 kilonewton. But as we are providing packing plate which is more than 6 mm, so we have to reduce uh, certain amount which was given as a reduction factor of beta p k g and that value is coming 0 0.9 that is why in place of 58 this is coming 52.21 kilonewton. Now, similarly we can find out B D P B that will be same as earlier in this case we can find out 2.5 K B will be same that is 0 0.57 and D is 16 and T will be thickness of the thinner plate. So, now as double cover bar joint has been provided that is why the cover plate thickness will become 8 into 2 that is 16 mm and thickness of other plates are 10 mm and 18 mm. So, thickness of the thinner plate will be 10 mm. So, that is why we are providing 10 and if we multiply with a few and if we provide the value of gamma m b we will get 74.78. So, in this case bolt value will become 52.21 kilo Newton. So, number of bolts will be required 150 by 52.21 2.87. So, that we can make as this is a double cover bar join. So, at least we have to provide means we cannot provide 3. So, we have to provide 4 number of bolts. So, if we draw this figure we can see that one is this is say suppose 18 mm and this is 10 mm and then we will provide some packing plate. This is packing plate of 8 mm this is 10 mm, this is 18 mm and we are providing cover plate of 8 mm, this is 8 mm right. Now, at least we can provide we have to provide a single line of bolt here and we have to provide a single line of bolt here right. So, if we see this we can see that in plan it will look like this. This is the two plates are joining here and bolts are connected here there are 4 number of bolts are there. So, the detailing can be done in this way either we can consider 31 millimeter or we can provide 35 maybe 130 and 35 to cover this total 200 mm thickness right and this we can provide 65 mm or more whatever means suitably we have to provide. So, this will be the uh, this will be the arrangement of the bolt right. Now, we will go through next problem. Next problem is we have this that is if you see the two plates of 10 mm thick are joined by 16 mm diameter bolts in a triple stagger lap joint find the efficiency of the joint. So, if we draw the figure we will see uh,
this is a triple stagger lap joint. So, bolt we can provide in this way triple stagger lap joint. So, maybe this is how we can provide and we can provide the spacing which has given this is 25 then 20 20 20 20 and this is 25 right and two plates are connected so this is one plate and this is another plate thickness of this plate is 10 mm and 10 mm right so this is six uh, this is uh, one board line this is another board line this is another board line right now the failure may occur in this direction in this direction or in this direction so if we make section 1 1 2 2 3 3 then we have to consider first failure uh, at 1 1 that will try to find out then 2 2 again when 2 2 is along 2 2 when it is going to fail it has to fail the bolt at line 1 1. So, when we are going to find out the strength at 2 2 that means, we have to find out strength of bolt at 1 1 failure strength plus 2 2. So, uh, it will be clear when we will be going through this example. So, first let us consider uh, case means section 1 1 means along 1 1 if it fails how it looks. So, there first we have to find out the this is in single chair. So, uh, the P single chair if I write then we due to single chair V D S B will be same as earlier this will be 29 kilo Newton right and bearing will be I am not going into details because this 29 kilo Newton we have already calculated in earlier case of 16 mm diameter because this is a single shear and uh, diameter is 20 uh, 16 mm diameter. So, 29 will be the um, uh, single shear strength uh, shear strength due to single shear. Now, bearing V D P B will be again 2.5 K B D T. So, here we have K B D T into F u by gamma m b. Here K B value will be different because here E is equal to 25 mm and P is equal to 40 mm. Right. So, we can consider the K B value as from this formula that is E by 3 d 0 that means, 25 by 3 into 18 then P by 3 d 0 minus 0 0.25 then 400 by 410 then 1. So, smaller of this so smaller of this value is coming 0.46. So, K B value we can calculate as 0 0.46. So, P bearing we can find out will be how much 2.5 into 0 0.46 into 16 into 10 into 410 by 1.25 into 10 to the minus 3 for making it kilometer. So, this is coming 60 kilometer right. So, bold value due to shear it is coming 29 
and due to bearing it is coming 60. So, more smaller of these two will be the bold value. So, we can consider the bold value as 29 kilo newton right. So, the strength of joint based on bold value will become how much strength of joint because 7 number of bolts are there. So, this will be 203 kilo newton strength of joint from bold value based on bold value that means, if 7 bolts are failed at a time if 7 bolts are failed at a time then the strength of bolt will become 203 kilo newton. Again now we will see if it fails along section 1 1 then what will be the strength of that joint. So, section 1 1 if we calculate strength of joint along 1 1 then this will be 0 0.9 f u into b minus m d 0 into t by gamma m 1 right gamma m 1. So, I can calculate this value that will be point 0.9 into f u into the thickness was total 130 and two numbers of bolts in along 1 1. So, 2 into 18 then T is 10 mm by 1.25 into 10 to the minus 3 for making it kilo newton. So, this is becoming 282 kilo newton right. So, strength of joint along 1 1 is becoming 282 kilo newton. Next we will see what will be the value of uh, bold value if it fails along 2 2 that means, strength of joint along 2 2 this will be how much this will be 0 0.9 f u into b minus n d 0 t by gamma m 1 plus 2 b v bold value means individual bold value of 2 that means, when section 2 2 has will fail it has to fail first 2 value along means along 1 1 then the fail failure at along 2 2. So, we will calculate 0 0.9 into 410 into 130 in similar process minus 3 into 18. In this case, uh, number of bolts are 3 into 10 by 1.25 10 to the minus 3 plus bolt value of 2 bolt along 1 1. So, this is coming 282 kilo newton right. So, uh, strength of joint along 2 2 we are getting 282 kilo newton. So, now again if it has to fail along 3 3 it has to fail section means uh, the bolt along 1 1 and bolt along 2 2 right. So, failure strength will be much higher than 1 1 or 2 2. So, the strength of the joint we can calculate strength of joint will be lesser of all that means, 203 then 282 uh, this is sorry this is 282 plus uh, no ok. So, actually uh, strength of joint along 1 1 was 277 uh, calculation I had done some mistake. So, 277 and then 
strength of joint along 2 2 will be 282. So, lesser of this 3, this 3 will be that means 203. So, this is the strength of joint of the arrangement of bolt as shown in the figure earlier. Now, we have to find out the efficiency of the joint. So, efficiency of the joint means the strength of joint divided by the strength of the solid plate. That means, if bolting connection is not done, the hole would not be inserted, then what will be the strength of the plate. So, strength of solid plate we have to calculate first. That will be 0 0.9 into F u b into t by gamma m. So, if I put those value, I can find out the strength of the solid plate. This is coming 384 kilometer, right. So, efficiency I can find out. this will be 203 by 384 into 100 that means 53 percent right so this is how we can find out the efficiency of the joint so in this lecture what we have seen we have gone through two example one was based on the lap joint and bar joint and we found uh, what will be the strength of the joint for different type of lap joint and bar joint that we have calculated in first example and in second example we have calculated the efficiency of the joint and how the joint fail means joint can fail as a whole uh, due to shear of the bolt or it can fail at along a particular section. So, we have found the strength of joint along different uh, uh, section and as a whole and we try to find out the joint strength and then efficiency. Thank you very much.